Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back. Tonight, I'm at Frankfurt Airport in Germany, handling a whopping 49 million passengers across nearly 400,000 aircraft movements a year. This is one seriously big airport, and where I start part two of my Lufthansa European review. In part one, we looked at Lufthansa's basic short haul economy product from Berlin. In part two tonight, we look at Lufthansa's European business class product back to Manchester. So let's head straight to the Senator Lounge. bit of a rush not only did i make it <clears throat> in the nick of time as i expected so floor of course i rushed and the flight's delayed by 90 minutes which actually is a good thing um because i'm not in a hurry to get home tonight i just want to get back so thanks to the trusty amex card i'm now in the senator lounge in frankfurt this is a very nice lounge actually i have to say i'll show you around in a moment but um the food's a lot better and like i said i am really hungry um because i've not really had much to, at all to eat today so i was in a bit of a hurry to get back up to berlin in the higher car uh, and dropped that off late then there was some train delays getting back to the airport which there always is at the moment for some reason getting back to berlin airport from the city um so yeah thankfully we've got a bit of downtime for a few minutes which just gives me time to uh, show you this the thai airways triple seven just pushing back on its 12 hour flight to Bangkok. Let's go grab something to eat. I am so hungry, it's not true. I've had a busy day today, so you'll have to excuse me. If you've followed my first video from Berlin to here in Frankfurt, you'll know that it's been a fairly busy day. It's been quite a stressful day, in fact. And I've just been rushing since seven o'clock this morning, and it's nine o'clock in the evening now in Central European time. So, where am I? So, I am in the Senator Lounge, the Lufthansa Senator Lounge, Frankfurt Airport, heading back to Manchester this evening. I rushed to get here, only to find that my flight is 90 minutes delayed, which is fine because I am absolutely starving. I am so hungry, it's untrue. And as always, I just wanted to say a huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters who enable me to bring these videos to you month in, month out. The ever-growing list of supporters means that I must be doing something right, and this month particularly, I'm delighted to welcome three new supporters, so a huge welcome to Joshua Lau, Ben Costello and Stephen Catchside. A very warm welcome to you all. I've really just sort of picked up food and in Berlin they don't have a Senate lounge as such. It's all congealed into the business class lounge and the food isn't that good in the business class lounges. So it's a nice relief to get in here. How did I get in here? Because I don't have Star Alliance Gold. The answer is quite simple. I have the American Express Platinum card, which means that if you're in business class, even on a domestic or European sector, and you show them your platinum card, they'll let you come into the Senator Lounge. If you are in economy with Lufthansa on a European sector, you show them your platinum card, they'll let you into the business lounge. Ordinary in economy, you wouldn't get any lounge, obviously, unless you had status, which I've just lost my um, Star Alliance gold status, unfortunately, because uh, I wasn't flying with Turkish Airlines enough, so they busted me down. And of course, if you know anything about the Star Alliance setup, is that it's unlike One World Silver, where that does grant you lounge access. I'd go so far to say is actually Starline Silver just isn't worth having. Um, it doesn't really grant you lounge access. For example, SAS, Scandinavia Airlines. I used to have silver with them. And over the summer period, when business class effect, business class travellers effectively dry up, they allow you to use the lounges. And I think two weeks over Christmas, the same. Um, but that's it. And um, I think with AG and if you get silver with them, you get what do you get with them? I think two or maybe four lounge visits vouchers per year and that's it so it's not really worth having um if you're gonna go for anything with star alliance do like i did and like i'm trying to do now and get star alliance gold uh because that affords you then reciprocal lounge access across the whole star alliance network whether in economy whatever and of course with gold um you can get straight into these senator lounges so there's no need for your american express card so there you go um but I'm going to eat now because I'm absolutely starving. So this is the food I got from... Now, <laughs> admittedly, it doesn't look great, but I'm sure it tastes nicer. Uh, I don't actually know what it is. There were no labels on the food or anything, so we'll, we'll just have to eat it and see what happens. I still don't know what it is, and I've eaten it. <laughs> it's got a strange smell to it. <laughs> it looks like chicken, but... Doesn't taste like chicken. 
But it's that fake chicken, like the vegans and stuff. That's got to be pasta, right? That cannot be anything else than pasta. Either my taste buds have gone funny or I genuinely have no idea what that is. <laughs> but it's more wholesome, it's more satisfying than what you get in the business class now, which is with Lufthansa. So it's nice, whatever it is. I mean, I thought they were meatballs at first, because I do like meatballs, but they're actually just potatoes. So anyway, your guess is as good as mine. It tastes okay. I mean it will fill a gap. This is the problem with me on trips like these is so I've been travelling all week, I've been away from home nearly a week now. <clears throat> And I get so excited about flying. And the Tesla video that you you might have seen, I don't know, I don't know what order I'm going to have the video then, but so basically I've spent this week test driving a Tesla um, down in Dresden, in southern Germany. And uh, it was great fun. <laughs> but the problem is, my point is that I just forget to eat when I'm doing these trip reports because I get so excited about what I'm doing. And the interesting thing is, if you've got an Apple Watch, you know, it measures your, um, sort of your daily targets for like activities and movement and all that. I always get my best scores when I'm travelling, because I'm constantly walking around airports. So a little bit about tonight's journey, okay. So, EasyJet is in a big mess at Manchester at the moment, like Tui. They're cancelling flights left, right and centre. So I was supposed to fly from Manchester directly to Berlin on Wednesday morning. Of course, EasyJet cancelled the flight. They did give me some notice, so I was able to make alternative arrangements. So I booked to fly with British Airways one way down to Berlin Wednesday morning from Heathrow. So this is just a one-way flight but of course Lufthansa doesn't fly directly from Berlin to Manchester so I had to come by Frankfurt which is fine because it breaks up the flight and it means I get to experience this great lounge. So the one-way flight cost less than a hundred pounds and unlike the British Airways noisy people in lounges. It's so rude. So um, unlike with British Airways where you pay a fixed fee and between Berlin and Heathrow it's £130 to upgrade, upgrade to Club Europe and it's not worth that it absolutely is not worth that unless you really need the tier points because the food is diabolical on that route unless you get the breakfast service during the day it's just this slither of ham and some round doughy substance I think it's cheese but I'm not sure it's not very nice um, so it's not worth £130 quid unless you really need the points which at the moment I don't so I thought, well, we'll have cancer. Use the MX card to get to the Senate and Lounge, it'll be fine. But when I booked it, I just booked it in economy. And you don't pay a fixed fee, you bid for an upgrade. So you can start the bidding at £50 and it goes all the way up to 200 quid. The theory is the more you bid, the higher chance you've got of getting into business class. So the flight back up here from Berlin was just rejected. So they just emailed me a few days ago and said, sorry, we've not accepted your bid. You're flying in economy, which is fine. They gave me a window seat. In Kadari. But they did accept the bid to fly back to Manchester. Um, and it's a while since I've done this route, and the last time I did it, the food company here was on strike. So all I got was a sugar rush because they gave me an ice cream and some sweets. So by the time I got off that flight in Manchester, my mind was buzzing with the sugar load. So I'm hopefully going to see and show you on the video what Lufthansa's business class is all about on the European sectors typical European sectors. It's on a fairly new Airbus 321 tonight, which is a nice aircraft. I like the 321. And of course, I'll get my full points to credit to Aegean, which will contribute towards getting gold status, which I'm not far off now. So, um, it's all good. It's all good. So I'll come back to you when we're starting to get on board. And we are boarded our flight to Manchester. Uh, another delay. Second flight in a row with Lufthansa. Real uh, no real reason for it, but um, we have now 11 minutes before pushback and we literally have just started boarding. We were sat on the bus for ages and ages and ages. And of course, as soon as you find out it's a bus, you just sigh, don't you? <laughs> I far prefer getting on board these aircraft through air bridges. But, hey ho, it's a first world problem. So, uh, yep, I expect it gets to be a 321 tonight. Unfortunately, not that it makes a great deal of difference, we're on a 319 and it doesn't look too busy. Three rows of business class. At the moment I've got nobody sat next to me, which is always a good thing. Let's hope it stays that way, as I told my wife. Oh, 
just saw a little uh, hare or rabbit or something run across the road. <laughs> so uh, I wonder what we can expect on Lufthansa's European business class product. Lufthansa, of course, is after all a five-star rated Skytrax airline. I know, I know, you don't need to tell me. It's fine, I get it. I was just being humorous. You never know, you never know. We may get some fine silver service dining with uh, a wide selection of drinks. Then again, we might not. But I am looking forward to seeing what we're going to get on this evening's flight, other than the points to contribute towards my AG and gold status. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, still boarding, but it doesn't look like a heavy load tonight, so uh, hopefully we'll push back on time. As I say, they messed about a bit at the gates, and then the bus was sat here for ages, and it's a really warm night tonight as well. 25 degrees here in Frankfurt, so I'm hoping it'll be the same at Manchester. Uh, but uh, tonight, of course, I had to pay a fortune to stay in a hotel in Manchester because there's a musician on, so even the travel lodge wanted £200 is crazy considering I'm actually leaving about seven in the morning uh, I forget which musician it is I don't really follow stuff like that so I'm not sure but anyway all I know is it was really hotels are really expensive so I cashed in some of my, my uh, Malia points the Spanish hotel chain from my stays in Tenerife so I've got tonight free in the the inside in Manchester never stayed there before but it's a bed for the night that's all I need for ten hours maybe less than that in fact seven hours probably. So I'll come back to you in a little while with an update. Unfortunately my camera sound went temporarily crazy here but in essence I was served a delicious selection of warm meats with pickled salad. It really was good. Followed for dessert by this really well designed eruption cake. Followed by coffee and chocolates. Overall 10 out of 10 for a business class European meal this was right up there. Uh, so, uh, intimate moment in the sky, they've turned the lights down, so it's quite nice actually. It's a nice clear sky as we fly towards, well, we're going over Holland, out over North Sea, and then down into Manchester. So, uh, fairly quick flight tonight, he said just an hour and twenty. Uh, now in 23 to be precise and so far so good I must admit I've got to say this credit where credit's due I wasn't expecting much uh, because everybody told me that Lufthansa really wasn't that good these days and it's a while since I last flew with them and the it's not really a dinner service you saw it but the taste was excellent really good very tasty dish lots of uh, pickles and very strong typically German strong tasting vegetables and, and the sauce as well and that dessert was just great a lot of thought had gone into that I thought it was a little pebble in the middle and you just crack it and it opened up revealed some cream inside and uh, pound for pound like I said I mean I've been critical of what British Airways gives you on particularly on the Berlin route which is usually the daytime snack is usually a slither of ham and some random cheese this was better it's way better much tastier didn't look as big a portion but that's not always the the sort of uh, the key thing is it really uh, the other thing is uh, I'm not drinking tonight so I had a beer in the lounge before we took off but I'm just so tired and uh, it's been a really long day and uh, I was really thirsty so I'm on my fourth glass of coca-cola and that's all I'm having tonight on this flight back he said uh, really do you not want a wine or and I could have done because I'm not driving I'm staying in a hotel as I said earlier in, uh, in Manchester tonight but um, I just don't want to drink any more alcohol. I've drunk enough this week and it, they, they are long days when you do the vlogging stuff, especially where you want to get lots of videos in. So I've got two videos that I've done, plus the Tesla, which has been a two day recording event in itself, I suppose. So uh, I do, I've said it a few times before, just occasionally, just occasionally, as much as I love travel and flying and doing these videos, just occasionally at the end of a trip, you get really tired and this is one of those trips I feel absolutely knackered I'm so so tired um, but still loving it of course you know it never the, 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 the novelty never wears thin so anyway I'll get back to the point so there's my coca-cola obviously and as soon as the glass got empty 
he just came around and brought another one. So the, the, the attentive service is absolutely brilliant. Admittedly, there's only one, two, three, five of us in business class tonight and three rows. And as you can see, I've got the row to myself. Um, but not just that, despite the fact that I have absolutely no status with Lufthansa or the wider Star Alliance group at the moment, I did have, but I lost it. So I'm working to rebuild it. Despite the fact I've got none of that status, he addressed everyone in business class, including myself, by name. And that very rarely happens in, in Club Europe with British Airways, even as a gold member. So it's another plus point. I've got to say, people knock Lufthansa all the time on the forums and, you know, okay, it might not be a full five-star service airline when you compare it to airlines like Qatar and Singapore, but based on tonight's flight, um, I'm pretty impressed. I've got to say, you know, in fairness, I've got to say that because I can't knock them. The cabin crew are very nice, addressed by name, food service was excellent, and the attentiveness, you can't fault. And we're on a relatively new Airbus 319. So I can't fault it. I, I just can't fault it. And so, bowing out of tonight's flight on a real high, all that's left for me to say is that I really enjoyed Lufthansa's European business class experience tonight. The food and service were excellent, as was the Senator Lounge in Frankfurt. So, until next week, friends, I bid you all happy flying. Bye for now. <laughs>